Before participating in the following activity, there are some important things we want you to do. Please remember to practice physical distancing of at least six feet from anyone that is outside of your home. Wear comfortable and proper shoes. Make sure you have an open space around you with no objects or obstacles in the way. Use the proper equipment or alternative objects you can find in your home. And last, stay hydrated and have fun. Hi everyone. I hope you're all keeping safe and healthy during these crazy times. And in order to do that, we know you've had to uh, stay home uh, a lot more than than you usually are used to. And we know your Special Olympics golf programs are suspended until at least June 30th, and we're not sure what's gonna happen after that. But uh, that doesn't mean you can't do some practice. Uh, there's lots that you can do at home. Um, and in fact, uh, Tess and I are in our backyard right now. Uh, I'm Coach Mike from the Niagara Chippewa Chippers. And helping me today is one of our chippers, Tess. Morning, SO athletes. <laughs> and Tess is going to help us with uh, one of the most important parts of our golf game, and that's the warm up. Uh, because you, before you get out on the golf course, you want to make sure that your muscles are nice and loose, uh, that you aren't tense, and before you start taking very big swings with your golf club, you want to make sure you're stretched and you're warmed up. And today we're going to be doing uh, a warm-up that's one of the favorites of our um, Team Canada coach, Glenn. It's a dynamic workout, uh, so it gets all those, especially the big muscles, nice and loose and, and warmed up. Um, and it's in this case, we're, um, we have our golf clubs. We're not going to use them throughout the whole thing, but uh, we use them for a little bit of stability and a couple of cushions. So the first exercise we're gonna do is just some leg swings. And that's okay if you have the golf club. Yeah. And if you can do this without the club, yeah, it's, it's okay. even better because it helps your balance. Um, but if you wanna start out by, by using the club, that's okay. And we're just gonna do some leg swings front to back. And so with the club in your right hand, you're gonna swing your right leg forward and back, and we're going to do 10 of those, right, Tess? Yes, we are, okay. Coach Mike. Okay, ready, set, go. One. <coughs> two. Nice and high. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, switch clubs or switch uh, sides switch, with your yeah, left switch hand. Yeah, switch sides. And we're going to swing our left leg, right, Tess? Yes, Coach Mike. Okay, left leg, 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Okay, the next one, uh, similar exercise, but we're going to go side to side. So this time, put the club in your right hand, and uh, we're going to swing our right leg back and forth, left to right. Ten times, Tess, okay? Okay. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, switch sides. Okay, Tess, on you. You're gonna start us off. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> okay, we had a little bit of trouble keeping balance, both of us on the left side there. So the next one, you can use the golf club or you don't have to, uh, but this is just some hip rotation. So with a nice athletic stance, your legs, you know, a couple, foot and a half apart, we're just gonna rotate left and right. 10, 
10 of those tests? Sure, Coach Mike. Okay. One, two, three. And the further you can go around, four, the better. Five, six, seven. So these are all the muscles that you use eight, in your golf swing. Nine, ten. Okay. And then. For this one, uh, we don't need our clubs, right? Tess, we're just going to no, do... No, we don't. We're just going to do... Um, we're going to practice the loading and swinging. So again, golf stance, nice and athletic. And we're going to make a swing to the left. So we're going to load up on the right. Tess, load up on the right and swing left. One, two... Okay, on the other side now. Let's do three of those. We'll load up on the left. One, two, three. All right. Okay, the next exercise. Uh, again, um, you can use a golf club if you want to. It's better if you can do it without. It's good for, uh, for your balance, but we don't want anybody to fall over. So for stability, you can use a golf club. So with the club in your right hand, we're gonna bring our left knee up to our chest and we're gonna rotate three times. In and out. One. In. Two. Out. In. Three. Out. Okay, now we're gonna switch sides. Club in your left hand. <coughs> Grab our right knee and the wider you can swing that knee, the better. One. One. Two. Three. Okay, good. And the next one we're going to do, we don't need our golf clubs for this one. Uh, and if you can move up a little bit closer there, we're going to do a lunge to the side. So we're going to grab, we're going to start with the right knee, we're going to pull it up to our chest. And we're going to lunge to the right. One. Two. two and one more. Three. Three. And now we're going to switch sides. We're going to lunge to the left. Grab our left knee. Pull it up. And one. One. Two. Two. And three. three. Good. Okay. So now our next exercise, uh, and that's why we have the, the cushions out here, because if you have a hard surface, you might want to have something that you can put your knee on. If you're on the grass, it's, o it's okay. Uh, this one we're going to get down on our, we're going to start off getting down on our left knee first. And we're going to put our right knee up in the air. And we're going to reach back with our left hand to touch our left ankle and the other arm goes up in the air and we're going to hold it for five minutes. Uh, yes. One, two, three, <coughs> four, five. Okay, on the same knee we're going to switch hands and reach the other hand back towards our ankle. Do another big stretch for One. five. Two, three, four, five. Okay, and we're going to switch knees this time. And you'll find that it's probably easier for you on one side than the other, then that's natural, depending on whether you're right handed or left handed. And for, for me, uh, you know, loose on one side, stick on the other. So on this one, right knee up in the air. We're going to reach back with our left hand, touch our ankle, and reach up <coughs> in the sky, and count to five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to switch. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. <clears throat> Size. Uh, we want to spread our feet apart and this one's going to be another stretch. So with our left toe pointing forward, we want to make a T with our right toe.
slide your legs maybe just a little bit further apart, Tess. And then what we want to do is reach down with our right hand to touch our right toe and reach up to the sky with your left hand. And hold it for five. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Now we're going to switch, legs apart, left toe pointing forward, right toe in a T. That's it. You got it, Tess. We're going to reach down with our left hand to touch our left toe, and right hand up in the air for a count of five. One, two, three, four, five. Good stretch. Okay, and our last exercise is a little bit of a shuffle. So we're going to move this stuff out of the way. We've got to go back and forth. So uh, on this one, we're going to have a bit of an athletic stance. Arms out in front. And we're going to shuffle to the left to a count of three. And then we're going to swing to the left. OK, pass on. One, two, three, go. One, one two, two, three. three. Swing right. One, One, two, two three. three. Swing right. Good. Now you can do that. We just did it once because there's a limited space here, but you can do that, you know, three or four times, whatever works best for you. Good morning, everybody. We're here to uh, talk about golf. I'm Coach Mark from the Arm Fryer Sodbusters uh, Special Olympics Golf Club. With me today, is Coach Brian from the Arm Fryer Sodbusters Golf Club and uh, our athlete who is going to help us demonstrate some of uh, our putting drills is uh, Gregory from the Arm Fryer Sodbusters Club. Now we're going to talk about putting. The first thing we're going to talk in putting is how to hold your putter. So you take your, your top hand, put it up near the grip, your other hand down in front, elbows together and then swing like a pendulum. Try not to move too much of your body. Keep your body still, just move your arms and you can, at the same time you move your shoulders. It's all one motion. Hey guys, so I have to put my ball at the front of my bum apple and, uh, and I put the line real, where I put it in the hole and I take my bum apple out and then, then I go around a bit and then I practice my edge limb Have a downhill putt and it's going to break right to left. So you want the line to bring your putt good. I'm going to keep using my foot as a marker. I'm going to aim with my foot. There was a blast putt, it's great. Remember, you don't have to hit it quite as hard because you're coming downhill. Everyone will putt differently, but it's to help them see the correct lines on the green and to help them read. Read it, roll it, and hold it. The grid's caddy, I can show them how to line the putt up. And I can point and say, Greg, you got to aim about here. Okay? Once that's done, I'm done. I have to read. Up to the golf. This drill is uh, normally referred to as a clock drill. 
the uh, balls are set up using the center of the hole as the center of the clock. So there's a line of balls set up at 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and 9 o'clock. The drill here is you start on the inside row of balls and you start at 12 o'clock, whatever hunt you want, 12, 6, 9, doesn't matter. Start at 1, work your way around the clock. When you're finished the inside row of balls, then you would move out to the next set of balls. When those are done, you move out to the next set. That's the way the drill works. For today's purposes, we are going to just use the inside row of balls. And we'll have uh, Gregory come and show us how the drill is done. So Gregory, come on in. You pick whichever ball you want, starting on the inside. You want to start at that one? Okay. That's the first ball. Okay, now move to the next ball. Okay. All right. Our second drill today is uh, one that a uh, professional golfer uses all the time. Uh, you may have heard of him, some fella by the name of Tiger Woods. This is referred to as the Tiger Woods gate putting drill. The only thing we have changed in that, Tiger Woods uses two tees, which we did in the other drill. This time we're just using two balls. If you don't have a tee, you can take two golf balls. You put them just a little wider than your putter head apart, and then you hit the ball through the, the gateway and in towards the cup. Tiger does this six times using his right hand only, since he's a right-handed golfer, and then he does it six times using both hands, and he keeps alternating that, doing it that way. Once you get good at it, what Tiger Woods does is he sets a number of putts in a row that he has to sink whether it be five putts, six putts, two putts, whatever you would like. So, to show you this drill, we'll ask uh, Gregory to come in again. This is uh, set up, and he's going to try doing it from the left side. Oh, you'll notice in that one that his putter wasn't quite square and he hit the, the ball. So we'll reset it and we'll try again. Good putt. Try another one. Six of them, please. Is that good? Did you give me one? What's that? 
Okay. All right, so now we're going to have Gregory try two-handed. Uh, one thing we want to mention is for the coaches, you may have to help the athlete by uh, having them put their, their putter down if it's marked with a center line and help them by lining the ball up on that line. So, okay, Gregory, go ahead. Okay, now we're going to have Coach Brian help out, and we're going to show what it looks like with a right-handed golfer. Using just his right hand. And now we'll get him to show us a couple with uh, using both hands. Just so you have an idea of what the drill looks like right-handed. There we go. Okay, there are some drills that you can use. We're out at the golf course on the putting green. You can apply them in your yard if, uh, if you have enough space. Hope you had fun and we'll see you on the golf course. should not be doing as a person is swinging. Just maintain a little quiet and respect their other golfers. And if I'm standing here, Greg's not going to swing with my hand on his back, right? Right, Greg? Right. Okay. Now this is the way you should approach while other people are golfing. Nice and quiet and you're not interfering the golfer taking his swing. We are on the tee, waiting to tee off, and here's what the people waiting to tee off do not do. Here's what we recommend you do when you're standing on the tee, waiting to tee off. Take the head of your club, Hold it up like this. Put your hands on it. That way, nobody's tempted to swing the club. It's too dangerous if you're standing here swinging the club when somebody's getting ready to tee off or trying to tee off. Walking up the fairway, we're going to come to the first ball. It happens to be great. proper way of doing it. Mark should be back here with us, not ahead of us. So we're walking up the fairway as we come to the first ball, and all of us stop and allow Greg to give lots of room to hit the ball. Walking down the fairway and we hear Ball. Notice the position, that's the correct position to be in. We are now, all three of us are on the green, and we're going to come up and mark the ball. I'm going to show you how not to do it, and then we'll show you the proper way to do it. So here we go. That is how 
not to do it. Now we'll show you how to do it. Okay, so here's how we you should be doing this to mark the ball properly. You do not walk on somebody else's line. Line is from them to the cut. So I walk around behind, and I come around behind my ball. I take my marker, and I put it down behind the ball, and I pick up my ball and back out of the way. Farthest away from the hole would putt first. So which one would putt first? We would mark ours. And then back away and allow Greg to putt. Go ahead, Greg. So there are some safety things that you can do for yourself. First thing when you're out is wearing a hat. So that keeps the sun off your face and everything. Wearing a good sunscreen so that you don't get sunburn. And especially important on hot days is to have lots of water to drink. So make sure you bring a water bottle with you and have it filled up. And that should help you have a fun round of golf. Hello here, Glenn Kinderi from North Bay, Ontario. We're at beautiful Pinedo Park Golf Course with our Special Olympics Team Ontario athlete, Mandy. So we look forward to uh, you seeing a new rule or two uh, today and uh, take care. So here we are uh, on the ninth hole. Mandy's hit a pretty good shot off the tee on this par three, but as you can see, unfortunately, She's found the beach. So Mandy's in the sand. So Mandy, for uh, the coaches and the athletes uh, who are watching this, can you explain a little bit about what you're going to do here in the sand about the rules? Yep, so I'm in the sand. Uh, so first of all, I can't ground my club. Okay, so what does grounding your club mean? Grounding means like putting the club into the sand. Okay. So you don't want to do that. But what you want to do is set, like, set up just a little bit behind the ball. Mm -hmm. And then you want to come in steep, and then the, the sand will push the ball out. Okay, so you're, it's okay to hit the sand yes. when you hit the shot, but not before. So as you can see here with Mandy, she's got the club up in the air, so she's not touching the sand. And she is going to hit this shot for us and then whack the sand. Go for it great shot so here we are you can see on the flag here we're on the seventh hole mandy's hit a wonderful tee shot on this par three and she's probably about 30 feet away from the flag now depending when uh, how old you are and how long you've played golf for over a hundred years the flag always had to come out when you're putting on the green you're never allowed to leave the flag in but that changed a couple years ago and so this rule is just more of a reminder of the new rules that you can putt with the flag in if you want or putt with the flag out. Mandy, would you like the flag in or out on this putt? Out, okay, so let's come here. We'll lift out the flag and Mandy's going ahead and hit that putt. Great putt. Well, there's today's rule. Hopefully you learned a little bit about the, the rules of golf today. And Mandy? See you on the links.